Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, from Tokyo. We are on Hakusan Dori. You're not looking at Tokyo Dome. Tokyo Dome is uh, just a little bit down the street there, but you can see uh, a little bit of the roller coaster right up in this area over here. Uh, we are starting today's adventure uh, into uh, the Tokyo Dome area. I uh, decided to start off uh, in the Hakusan Dori area. Uh, showing you, you know, a few little amenities, walks and back streets on our way over to Ueno, checking out the, uh, the street market over there. I haven't done this in a while. Uh, hi, Fanny, uh, Vin, K Construction Cronies and Bayou, thank you for being here. Um, but yeah, this is uh, one of the ma main streets that kind of, uh, I guess, go by. Hey, Carlitos, um, Tokyo Dome area. And uh, if you are one of my Patreon members, you would know, uh, see what's that? Um, what uh, area this is. Now I'm gonna turn the camera off, or turn the camera around for a minute. Um, hey Ramsey Sam, how are you brother and Jason M. This building here is very new to the area. It's about a 45 floor uh, apartment building. Uh, they've spent billions of yen uh, making this, but also behind, uh, they've made a lot of medical uh, areas. Hi Nana, um, in this area here, they just put in the Maruetsu, which of course you all know, hey Wonderlust. I don't like, but uh, they put in family marts and they made a connection to the subway uh, in this area, finally uh, having elevators and so on and so forth. Uh, as I turn around, you know, you do have a, an amazing uh, coffee shop right across the street there. It's Cafe Veloce. Uh, it used to be actually having a smoking room, but they don't have that anymore. And then if Feng was here, we do have a Macca's down here. We have uh, Hidakaya. Uh, you actually have the Dormy Inn, so you do have a hotel area here. Hi, Lynn Singer, how are you? Um, local drug stores, you got Anytime Fitness, which is worldwide, of course. This is the gym I used to belong to, <laughs> used to. And uh, yeah, just down here, you can see uh, that little circle right there, that's Coco Curry's. You got my curry, I think uh, Shokudo, and uh, a tonkatsu place. So a great little area along here, hey, John McKee, um, for uh, eating. Uh, there's bakeries along here, there's other coffee shops up here. Don Quixote is just up there. Uh, and as you can see right there, uh, Tokyo Dome is not too far. It's, uh, let me see if I can get the camera zoomed in. Um, you can see a bit of the Ferris wheel. That's where the roller coaster is and Tokyo Dome is over there. Um, I'm not a Patreon member, I, I guess I better go. Why the hell would you say that? Doesn't make sense. Um, of course, you can see the Marinucci Line train going over there. And uh, yeah, we're going to be uh, heading over to um, Ueno. Um, I might actually cut through if you guys want. Uh, I might cut through uh, the property of uh, Tokyo University. It's always a, uh, a good thing to look at all the architecture and things like that. Or I could go a different way. I'll leave it up to you guys. Uh, uh, which is a pretty amazing place. Um, let me know if you want to see Tokyo University, but yeah, I'm going to be walking through the back streets here and uh, on my way over to uh, Ueno, I want to go check out, I got to go pick something up and stuff like that, so, but yeah, I'm not going up those stairs though, God no, don't want to go up those stairs. John McKee says cut through. It is another hot day, by the way. And uh, once more people get in this chat, I'll turn the camera and show you the chrome dome, the, the, the effects of yesterday. My head be a little burnt, but we all knew that would happen, right? I actually don't know. That's how they deliver packages here in Japan, by the way. Kind of funny. I don't know this street. I'm scared. I'm going to have to zigzag through and figure out where I am. But it is a hot day here, of course. Again. Oh, I could hear the wings on that crow flying just now. That was a little scary. A little scary, I must say. Now, these are, uh, of course, back streets here uh, in uh, Bunkyoku, normal people living. It's actually not a bad little area because a lot of people when they're walking 
around the Tokyo Dome area, you don't see these neighborhoods and, you know, buildings and all these uh, just local houses, I guess you could say. That's what I'm trying to say. S scary bike delivery person. It's very common here. <coughs> that guy's got a lot of skateboards in his garage. Damn. Of course, the streets are very small around here. Ouch. I'm still suffering because after uh, yesterday's live stream, I went out to uh, Fabric Town or whatever you want to call it. And I uh, ended up walking from Nipori all the way down to Weno um, yesterday. So I ended up walking about 16 and a half kilometers in total with bummed up knees. So that kind of... Uh, sucked but yeah we're just gonna make th make our way through all the back streets here i gotta find a vending machine to get that coffee or water or something now the, the area that i'm in right here is kind of unique i think they just started building uh new houses back in here as you can see right here Got a bunch of kids coming up, so I'll just keep the camera off to the other side here so I don't get the kids in the video. They've had this like retaining wall here for years upon years. And uh, of course, you know, everything is built on hills. Bunkyoku is very famous for being a very hilly uh, style area. And again, you're going to have all kinds of places. Now, I've done this with the, the Patreon members before. Um, just going to cut through uh, real quickly. This is that old well that I've shown you guys before on a night stream. It's not, it's not operational, but damn, doesn't that look cool? Like seriously, that is damn cool, man. I got to say, please superimpose Drew and Top Gun. <laughs> Hey, Bayou, you coming out to Vegas or what? I know I keep pushing you. But walking along these small little streets back here, it's pretty awesome. Especially when you see things like this. And you just zigzag every which way. Oh, is that a Vespa? Could you, yeah. Could you imagine Drew riding that right there? I didn't buy, we didn't actually buy anything actually. This is the uh, delivery guy, we found him again. But all these uh, side streets, you gotta watch out for a lot of bicycles along here. These are the kind of houses that I like as we're walking through. And people actually still live in these old houses too which amazed me. But you will find newer houses along here. You know, they're building houses on top of these retaining walls. I don't know if they, uh, there's a property, I don't know if I've passed it already. Um, it's built on a hill. It's just weird to me. But can you imagine all the small spaces that people build? And you know, looking between the houses, there's not much distance between that's a road right up there. So between that road and the road I'm standing on is our houses. There's not much space here. There really isn't. Jeez, we just dropped 10 people. Huh. But I figured... And... Uh, I'm Yokocho. Before I get my train to work. I have to go teaching tonight uh, up in the Kumagaya area. So I'm going to be taking a train for about an hour and a half. So it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Hey, Mikey and Vase, how are you? But as you can see, now if you come up over here, that actually leads you over to uh, a library, which is kind of unique in a way. Uh, it's a library slash uh, community center. I've always loved this house. No idea why. But, uh, oh yeah, Corey's streaming today. That's figures, yeah. 
Oh, well. Anybody that's here, I appreciate it. They'll just miss out on uh, some awesomeness. As we come up uh, here, this is coming up to more of the main road here. Hey, Barry Bonds, how are you? <coughs> Again, this is a community all upon itself here along this road here. They actually have a community center, uh, which is basically just one of these places along here where they store their mikoshi and many different things. This road here, I, I do walk this road a lot. I do take my bike. Thank you, Barry Bonds. <laughs> I appreciate the support, ladies and gentlemen, always. Under the weather, well, I hope you can feel better. Yeah, too bad they didn't maintain the house, but I think that's what I like about it, is that it's not maintained. Yeah, here, actually, here's the construction area that I was talking about. This used to be a complete, just open area. And, uh, well, you can see, just right inside here, part of the foundation. And it's pretty sad that it's got such a big drop off over there. But they actually built the house on here with the entrance going down stairs. So they had like a, a double level, natural double level. Hi, Auntie Liana, how are you? I don't know what they're gonna be doing with this uh, area. It's been sitting here for a while after they demolished the, uh, the house. But <clears throat> this to me is one of the more interesting areas. Um, they're always doing things new. This is actually where the bike guy, so tap you in the delivery uh, area. And it's only a one-way uh, road, actually. You can't drive the other way. Look at that pink apartment building. That is an eyesore. That really is. Hey, Sandra C. You do have an amazing temple, which is a bit out of the way, as far as temples go. Now, there is an amazing coffee shop up there for my coffee brothers, but I think I'm gonna go this way. It's, uh, I've never seen this temple in the daytime. It's probably small, but I, I love how these, uh, uh, from when they first built the temple, of course. It's pretty cool. I just like the way this, uh, it leads up. It's gonna kill my knees, but at the same time, I just like the way this looks as I'm walking. Came here through the nighttime. I figured I might as well show you. Tempt us with coffee and head the opposite way. <laughs> oh, wow. This whole area has been demolished too. Damn. Have they torn the whole temple down? I can't see them tearing a temple down. It's a lot of trees, I mean, a lot of stairs. They have torn everything down. I gotta take a look. Here, I'll look, I'll look through here. You guys can look over top. Isn't that crazy? They've torn everything down. That is ridiculous. Hey, Cosman, how are you? Thank you so much, I appreciate that, brother. Well, they left the graveyard, obviously. The only remnants of the temple now are just up in this area. Huh. And like I said, the temple here is very small, but uh, the ghost babies, the ghost babies, that's what I call them. But I wanted to uh, come see this statue because I tried to see this statue at night and I wanted to see what it was. Oh, pretty cool. I like that. That is cool. Okay. Now, the one thing I've always wondered, and 
they always have these beside uh, certain statues and stuff full of water. Honestly, I have no idea what they represent. I wonder if that's like you put your money inside there. Hey, Michael Chavez, how are you? I wonder. Because why else would they have a hole here? Can't shake it. I wonder if it goes down into the basement. <laughs> Dead flowers is what it is. I got some pretty big ass Bigfoot feet here. Again, the water thing. Now they do have uh, something in Japanese here. I'm just not sure what that represents, but that's pretty cool. Obviously it does represent something because they got a bunch of stuff here. You can see all the numbers, one, one all the way to 10. So something represents something. Obviously they got the list up here going uh, this way, so on and so forth. So that's still pretty cool. And I've never seen something uh, in the temple grounds that actually represent this. Uh, I see a gold kind of uh, Buddhist statue uh, inside right there, some flowers, but that's about all I see. Hi, Janet, how are you? But uh, yeah, for all of you here, thank you for joining. My chrome dome has uh, been pretty dark, pretty red. I didn't burn myself as much as I thought I would. Uh, but again, I'm, just, I'm gonna be hatless for a long time now. Uh, take advantage of you know, getting a bit of color on my skin or whatever you wanna call it. And uh, yeah, get the, get the chrome dome a little bit of lobsterish color. <laughs> and that's about it. So, uh, let's come around here. I really don't know where I'm going now. But, oh wow, I just can't believe that. Look at the land here. I wonder what they're going to build. Hatless Drew. <laughs> that's crazy. That's a big thing of property. I don't know what it used to be either. I can't remember now. Huh, that's huge. That's what she said. I'm gonna try and make my way over to university. Um, the easiest way from Tokyo Dome is if you could, you know, if you wanna have a nice scenic tour, um, that's interesting. You can uh, cut through university, uh, Tokyo University, and it takes you out right into um, Iweno. So it's not a bad looking area. Hey Fang, how are you? I just gotta remember to try and stay on course here. If I know where I'm going, which I usually don't. This is a lost in Tokyo. Hey Digital Fanboy, how are you? Traversing through the back streets, hopefully hitting uh, Tokyo University. A lot of apartment buildings in this area. Do you think Japan's going to look like this? Or do you think it's going to have more of the, you know, obviously the Japanese style houses? Because you rarely see them anymore. It looks like another temple over there. But this to me almost looks like a Californian building in a way. <laughs> I have no idea why, but it does look like it in a way. Hey, Leonie, how are you? But you've noticed one thing, no vending machines along the way. Typically in a lot of neighborhoods, uh, you'll come across a vending machine, but not very many. Yeah, I think so too. More modern as uh, time progresses over the decades. I think, uh, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, but um, you know, those, those uh, less insulated houses, hey Mike, Hawk, um, the less insulated houses, you know, the more people are gonna spend on utilities and all kinds of different things. So, you know, obviously, you know, getting in with the modern times, uh, it's much better to uh, just build new houses. But some people, like myself, I do like the older style houses. 
I'd like a traditional uh, house sander, Butler. Oh, vending machine. Whoop, whoop. Uh, do they have my coffee? No, they do not. I would like to have a traditional Japanese house, but I'd also like it to be well insulated. And uh, well, unless, unless you live in the north, and say Miyagi Ken North, uh, things are not insulated very well at all. Oh, woohoo! I'm happy for you, Leone. Well, not really, but. Oh, those are pretty flowers. Could you imagine parking your car like that? That's nuts. You always come across all these little, as you're walking, these little parks. I think this is part of a community center or what is that? Bunkyoku something. Maybe a clinic. But everything zigzags, and that's what I like about walking through these places. Yeah, they are cheap in the countryside, that's for damn sure. <coughs> Excuse me. You now, if I navigated properly without this taxi coming to hit me, we should hit Tokyo University pretty soon. And hopefully you enjoy a bit of the university as we walk through. The green apple. I wonder what that is. Makes me wonder. <clears throat> in my opinion I honestly I know this is sad to say because people own these buildings and stuff but I kind of wish that they would tear these down uh, and you know build new hi Lori how are you all I got to work tomorrow but no, don't know how I feel about it yet damn hey Brian S how are you I used to come over in July after the rain. However, it's 43 degrees Celsius about that time. You're very much true. Tear down these buildings and build something new, but it is in a local neighborhood. So, you know, what is the advantage of doing it when you could just have things looking as rustic as this? It's a little izakaya there. They are open. I can hear people inside. So it seems like they're doing okay. This is Hongo. In Asaya. Oh, that is so cool, guys. Look at that. That is pretty cool. See what we find along the way? Samurai. Gotta say, hi, Jen Southern. How are you? Warring States Armored Warrior. Damn. That is pretty cool. Hope you guys can see that well enough. I like that. Mind you, I like ninjas, I like samurai. Hey Sam, how are you? I was in your stream today, but uh, while you're sitting in the tattoo shop, I was hoping you were getting my name on your leg. <laughs> uh, and yeah, we, this is the main road here. Um, what was this? What? This is right, right in front of us is, uh, of course, Tokyo University. A chicken menu. Okay, I guess they sell chicken. But we're going to walk over to, uh, through the university. And of course, you guys know all the history, I hope, on Tokyo University. There's many entrances. This place is freaking huge. That's what she said. And uh, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy some of uh, the little nature-esque parts of Tokyo. Uh, Can somebody put in the line group, the moderator chat, that we are live? I'd appreciate it. I forgot to let the, all the mod, the mod group know I was going live. I love this fence. I love the red brick. It reminds me of uh, Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. You know, back a hundred years ago, Hamilton was quite famous for uh, 
you know, producing, uh, red, they had red brick factories. So if you're ever in the uh, Hamilton area, a lot of the houses, you know, up until 75 years, you know, whatever it is, um, were all made out of red brick. That's why I always thought Hamilton is uh, one of the ugliest cities in Canada, because <laughs> it all had red brick. But now I appreciate it. Love the tops, like, oh, like a fleur-de-lis almost. And how can you not like this area? This is one of the main, the main, I think one of the more main gates is kind of down that way, but we're gonna come in through this one. Uh, there was a time, I, th I don't even know if I can go through here. I think I can. There was a time where they actually asked you for your ID, um, which I don't have because I don't belong to here, but tell me this isn't beautiful. Look how beautiful this is. Of course, they do have on-campus things, but I'm here to walk through and show you the architecture, which uh, hopefully you'll enjoy. And actually, uh, Hiromi is here somewhere too. So I don't want to run into her, of course. But uh, these are all ginkgo trees. So in this, in this whenever they, they are done, it's all yellow. It's a freaking amazing, amazing. Uh, view here. Look at all the architecture. It absolutely mom bo mind boggles me how amazing this looks. Oh, really, Nan? I didn't realize that. I absolutely love this uh, area. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate that. They do have the hospital area, which I'm going to be cutting through. Um, these are all the, you know, the buildings for whatever. I really don't know, uh, you know, what goes on inside here. I just know it's a university, but I love walking around. I'm going to come up kind of, I think it's on this side right here. They got big ash trees, uh, something. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's this tree right, right in front of us here. Um, the thickness of this tree is freaking amazing. I'll kind of walk around the back and come back out. But look, looking at all the brick and, you know, how they still um, work, study, it just amazes me. And all the greenery. That's what I really like about this. You got Tarbucks, Starbucks over there. You have a Lawson on here. You got a Chinese um, kind of like restaurant along this area. So they do have an, an, amenities uh, for all the students and stuff like that. And I'm not going to go in there because there's a lot of people there, but uh, you can see the chairs and the tables set up. Um, this is where they, you know, people like to uh, come and relax under this big, fam this famous tree. Not exactly sure what it, it represents, to be honest, but uh, I'll zoom in here real quick. And uh, that's how big, that's how thick the tree is, guys. There's two people standing underneath it and they're not even covering 30% of it. It's absolutely crazy. Look at that. It's amazing. Now the campus does go all the way down that way. There is another road cutting through and then the, that's where the Hachiko and uh, Dr. Ueno statue is, is way on the other side there. We showed you guys that I think during a live stream uh, just a few weeks ago. Hey Trevor, how are you? Damn Oilers. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. How can you not like this? Like, it's freaking awesome, man. It really, really is. JP Post. No idea what these things here would represent and stuff, but... And whoa, oh, see, they even got speed bumps in the road that I just tripped over. <laughs> I guess it would help, Drew, if you saw the actual speed bump uh, sign. Mm. That's cool. Looking, I'll walk past here, but that looks pretty damn cool. 
I gotta say that. I like you. I like you. Actually, you know what? Let's go through. I wanted to show you this little door, but I can't find it anymore. So I, I hope you guys can see this. Hey, found in Japan. I hope you can see all the small detail of everything that they've done along here and just even up to the ceiling. This is awesome. Yeah, Hogwarts Academy, eh? <laughs> You love to take pictures, um, art, things like that. This really is. Right? Of course, the hallways inside are very clean. They do have message boards, so that kind of takes away from, of course, they got to have it, but it takes opinion of uh, what everything looks like, but I had a feeling some of you would appreciate this, so I'm glad that I've uh, come to show you. Just look at, look at the design. It just amazes me. Now, I know my wife bikes through this area, so I'm going to turn this way. I don't want to run into her. Actually, people are taking pictures inside, if you can see that. The acoustics there would be mad. I bet you they would be. Now, of course, we came in from the front there, and uh, well, it doesn't really do, do it any justice that way, because obviously you got uh, the end result coming up here. What type of architecture? No idea. Saying Google it. <laughs> a lot of a lot of things when you Google Tokyo University, you're probably going to see pictures of this building coming up here. Yeah, they sure do, John. They really keep everything clean. You got all kinds of campuses, or not built, or campuses, buildings all over the place. But uh, if you can see this here, this has got the clock tower. Nice open field here. Bunch of azaleas still surviving. But uh, yeah, this is uh, one of the, the things that I really like about this area. Hey Daryl, how are you? If I've missed saying hi to you, sorry, but uh, Drew, I have a travel question. For the PCR test, do we have to get the nose swab test or the spit test work? Uh, where are you, are you going? Where are you going? Um, if you're going to America, you can get just the antigen test. Um, I think the PCR test is, hey Jeremy, uh, the PCR test itself uh, takes longer uh, could be up to three days, uh, but for the USA, it's just antigen test. Uh, you can go to Kinoshita, well, you're in Osaka, so I think they do have one, um, anywhere from 25 bucks, but it all depends. So I, I'm researching it too, and I'm still confused about it, so kind of sucks. Well, maybe I'll try and answer your question later on, Feng. Um, I'll, I'll probably have a better chance of Googling it than you do. I like how they've built in the stone these uh, benches around this. Another big ass tree here. It's pretty crazy, man. Taking nature and seeing nature. Now, did somebody just break something here? Or is that actually a, de a design? I have no idea. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping uh, the US will drop the pre-departure testing uh, by the end of July. I'm really hoping. Um, I know there's a lot of pressure right now on the airline industry to the Biden government. Um, <clears throat> and especially like, you know, a lot of countries around the world are starting to drop their pre-departure uh, testing and stuff like that. So you never know. You never know. I haven't seen my wife yet. Thank God. Um, there is a dude uh, in a statue sitting over there. I'm not even going to bother because I want to take you inside here. Um, some of you will uh, remember this as uh, Patreon members. Um, but I've never taken the public in inside here. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Hey, Irvin, how are you? 
I gotta push my buttons again. <laughs> uh, hope you're doing well, brother. <coughs> That's just crazy ass there. I'm trying to walk slow because I'm trying to preserve my knees. Yes, I'm mummified. I just want to take you inside here because I think it's truly beautiful. Uh, this area here. Okay. Okay, I didn't see. Why do I not? Why do I, everybody's laughing at Irvin, but then I don't see. His comments, America is closed on weekends. Oh. <laughs> so there's many ways to come inside of this area, but uh, yeah, if you've never been here um, with me, this is a pretty beautiful area. Hey, Robert, how are you? It's uh, not a nice little pond area. Hey, Al, long time, Al, how are you? And again, if you have bad knees, look out. Yeah, it is a beautiful area, Will. It really is. You can see, like, I don't know, she, maybe she's doing her artist thing. I don't know. But uh, this is Sanshiro Pond. Uh, it was built by the Maeda family um, from the... Uh, I'm just reading a sign here. After the fall of Osaka Castle in 1615, the pond and surrounding garden were greatly embellished in the days of the Maeda Toshitsune, who was known for his lavish style. Um, the garden came to be known as the most beautiful one among the gardens of Edo. So this is supposed to be one of the more beautiful gardens of Edo. Uh, we were at a garden yesterday uh, on the Patreon, of course, but uh, yeah, it's quite beautiful here and it's very cool. I'm doing well. Thank you. Thank you. I have two bad knees, so she's just like reading her book. But look how beautiful this is. They got like a little path walking around. There's, I can see koi in the water here, which is nice. We'll just take a quick walk around here. You do have a uh, pass going up, which yeah, I'm going to try to avoid at all times. But hopefully you enjoy this. If you do, smash that like button. I would really appreciate it. We've got 50 people here. Again, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for being here. But actually, I've got to walk across a wooden bridge over there. So that's the only scary part. Look how big ass that koi is, man. Damn. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. It's kind of disappearing now, but... But it amazes me, another person here sitting here, some guy, he's got his laptop going on up here. It's a pretty quiet area to kind of maybe study. A couple people here. Hey, Cobra. Kind of chasing the koi, where'd he go? I missed him now. I can hear a little, a little bit of a waterfall, so I want to go investigate that. Sorry, I'm not look, really looking at the chat, ladies and gentlemen, right now, because I'm walking along all these rocks, and they're very not stable or not good for my knees. But yeah, this is in the middle of Tokyo University. How awesome. Like, seriously, how awesome. It looks like i got to climb some stairs over here, though. So that sucks. And it's a lot... Uh... Hey, Lito, how are you? Um, it's a lot of degrees cooler down here. I have no idea where this is taking me now. Oh, I can go in this way. Looks like I can go this way. I thought I had to go up the stairs. Look at that. Ah, oh, shit, more stairs. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. I like this fencing. Kind of gives it a bit of a nice little atmosphere there. I just don't want to have to backtrack, so I'm wondering if I can just walk around the edge here. This would be pretty cool.
Oh, it's nice. It's, it's very calm. It's very peaceful. You know, um, not not too much seating, per se, but you know, if, if you want to come and relax and get away, you know, from your from your uh, schooling or you know whatever you want to call it, it's pretty cool. Oh shit! I got to walk across these stairs. But this is what I was hearing. I heard the waterfall here. Oh, these stairs. I mean, these rocks. That's kind of nice, you know. I like that. With my luck, frickin' jaws will come out from behind me here and swallow me up. All right. Oh. Whoa. Ah. Quite peaceful. Very, very peaceful, actually. Very tranquil. I think I just saw somebody say that. But this is what's the problem. Is trying to navigate through all these uh, stones. If you got bad knees like I do, this is not the greatest thing to do. Uh, we're in the middle of Tokyo University, uh, Lido. Not too far from Tokyo Dome and the hub. The hub. And then we got to go back down the other side here. So hopefully this will uh, end. Of course, you know, you have all these pathways going up. The campuses are all up in that area. So, ouch, it amazes me. This is really right in the middle of Tokyo University. I think it's pretty damn cool, guys. I really do. And again, as you can see, navigating I'm starting to huff and puff. It's a little difficult. They do have lights at nighttime, obviously. Uh, probably solar powered, no, maybe not. No, but uh, I guess, hey, Bill Sweden, how are you? Sorry, Bill, I didn't um, answer your message. Um, I guess I can tell you here. I think it'd be a good idea. Um, I'm not a cigar person, but uh, by all means, whatever you want to do, bro. Ah, shit. I, oh, maybe I can go back down. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, okay. <coughs> I don't know if half of you could even walk through here. I'm struggling, and you can see how steep these stairs really are from one to the to the next. Oh, it is. Quite difficult. Ouch. Oh. Oh. But I found the little bridge here. I feel like we're in an Indy Jones movie with you. <laughs> Have a little pond. Pathways. That, those stairs there are just going back up towards the other side of the campus, of course. Oh, I see a white koi. Now, I hate walking across here but not that bad. Just with my luck, I'll fall in. Koi! No turtles, before anybody asks. Young lady here enjoying her uh, breakfast or lunch on the bench. And uh, this is the other side of the pond. You know, we, we walked basically all the way around, which is pretty cool. Um, where's my crystal skull? <laughs> Never understood these. Like, if it rains out, you're not getting protected by anything. And uh, I'm going to come out this way instead of going back to the front there. I don't want to run into my wife. Oh, I hope I can go this way. I really do. I don't want to go up there. I'll come up this way. But yeah, it's truly beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you know, it's, it's ama it amazes me. Just like yesterday, you know, we were at uh, that Japanese garden before a public live stream. Finding places like this. Tokyo. I know it's just Tokyo. And of course, there's so many amazing places in Japan, no matter where you are. 
But, you know, I'm based in Tokyo and hopefully trying to show you almost like a hidden gem in a way, you know? Almost. Oof. And we made it to the top. Oh. I'm sweating my ass off now. Not sure what's that way. But now I'm gonna get lost because I've never come this way before. Svidia, how are you? I've climbed Mount Takao once, and that's all I'm gonna do. <coughs> Almost looks like a temple here. This looks pretty cool. Boom. Wow, opens up into a soccer field. This is all still part of the university too. This is crazy, man. I'm actually seeing things that I've never seen before either. I bet you that's gotta be, a. I think that building over there is the athletics department from what I remember from years ago, but I have a little mess, so I can't remember everything. We got 62 people in the chat. Thank you so much for being here or watching silently or whatever you're doing. Uh, smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate it. And I'm still looking for a vending machine. I need coffee. I need water. Oof. Why am I wearing? Oh yeah, by the way, uh, we're kind of in the, uh, the purple shirt. Why am I wearing a dark color on such a hot day? But I am hatless because the chrome dome is getting color, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, but yeah, 16 kilometers walking yesterday. Uh, I've been putting, I, after the live stream, I went to the drugstore and I actually got some, uh, not, not A535, but you know, the Japanese equivalent of it. And uh, kind of like a menthol kind of style. Oh, what's this? I have no idea. I've never seen this before. Two dudes' heads. Two dudes' heads. That's pretty cool. Okay, here we go. We found a sign. It's Erwin von Bells and Julius Karl Scriba. 1849 to 1913 and 1848 to 1905. Hi, Kathy Three. How are you? So that's these two dudes. If anybody can Google it and let us know in the, in the chat what this represents, that would be pretty cool. You got two heads sitting on top of the world. Huh. I've never seen that before. But obviously they have something to do with the university. Looks like, uh, let me see here. I'm just checking to see if there's anything else down there, but it doesn't look like it. So we'll kind of keep going on through the tour here. It's, it's the dudes from, dude, where's my body? <laughs> hey, Nickar, how are you? Oh, now, uh, when we come to this area here, I know Hiromi is going to come out of that way over there, so I'm going to avoid it. You could actually go all the way down here to uh, another entrance to the university area. Uh, that'll take you over to it like a fire department. Actually, I got my PCR test, or no, my vaccination is just down that road over there. So that was pretty cool. Lots of bicycle parking. Not much, actually, but... Oh, food truck. Dig up kitchen. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Looks like they serve... Uh... I can't see from here. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Uh, it's just a bunch of bento boxes. They call it over rice. Looks like you got chickens and shrimps and not bad. I'm trying to see the prices from here. Oh, they got chicken, pulled pork. Oh my God, falafel. Holy yum. Okay, that would uh, be awesome. Nice lunch box for all the students here. Hmm. And then, yeah, we're coming into the hospital area now. Oh, I'm sweating my ass off already. Oh, 
What are you guys talking about? John McKee said what? Did I say that? Uh, is it ever too late for coffee? Uh, Bill, two heads are better than one, right? Sorry, while I was walking through there, um, through that uh, little pond area there, I couldn't really see comments, so I do apologize for that. Um, doing a little bit better now, of course. Just trying to, try to figure out where the hell I am. I've never come this way before. So this here, of course, all these buildings up here now are all part of Tokyo University Hospital. And this is a network of amazing uh, places. Of course, my wife does work inside one of these buildings here. I just don't know which building it is. With my luck, I'll run into her or something now. Oh, the ER room is there. I have no idea where I'm going, so I, I don't even know if I can get out of here. I'm kind of hoping I can. Who are the dead dudes? Hey, Fellini, how are you? <laughs> Man, if I get stuck in here, I'll be pissed. I see doctors walking around. I really hope I can get the hell out of here. Oh, look at this. I don't know what is what here. Hey, Eric Clay, how are you? Looks like it's all... I always thought it was residences, but I'm sure it's not, obviously. But, like, all these... Uh, there's radiology departments, obviously. You've got the ER, you got the cancer clinic here. you got all everything. Even a freaking butterfly right up there. As I'm trying to walk down as careful as I can. I think I can get out of here. I really hope I can. Usually I walk a different way. Ah, oh, shite. Seriously? Oh, my mask broke. God damn it. Okay, I found a ledge. Beautiful little flowers. This is like the second live stream when well, my mask has broken. But I always carry, I always carry extra masks with me. Chrome Dome time. Yesterday I actually picked up some more masks, red color. I'm not sure if that's gonna be the greatest to wear on a hot day, but oh well. Hopefully it'll look cool. Why can't you just pull masks out one at a time, ladies and gentlemen? Like, they always have the, the bottom part wrapped around the other part, and you gotta pull all the masks out just to put them back in. Stupid, stupid. Now, if you are here watching, of course, our end result will be Weno Amiokocho, um, which I really hope uh, I can get to. I just got to get out of this area first. Okay. Mm. Oh, I like it. I like these. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it here. And uh, I hope I can get out of here. I have no idea where I am. And I just don't see any exit. I might have to go all the way back. Staff entrance. No, I have to go all the way back. I want to go just straight through here, but it says staff entrance, inpatient building. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm gutted. That's probably why everybody was looking at me like, what the hell is this foreigner guy doing down here? Didn't realize. Well, I guess all, all alleyways and back streets don't lead to an exit. Oh, and I killed myself going down this hill. Walking down hills with my knees is the worst. All right, I'm gonna have to point the camera the other way again. Oh. I'm 
She just walked through the whole damn hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Lino. Okay. <coughs> I wonder if I can walk through the hospital. Probably not. I knew I should have went the other way. But half the fun is getting lost and figuring out where to go. Yeah, pretty much, Bill. <laughs> uh. But I'm getting my steps in. Got to get my 10,000 steps. Hey, common commenter, how are you? I like this. They have a lot of these alley, not alleyways, but corridors. It's too cool, man. I know <laughs> things never change, Cobra. You know me. Me think before I do something? Come on now. Never. Oh, I'll pass by. The two guys in the uh, in the green are uh, from the Department of Acute Medicine. Look at this area right here. I guess I should have checked this place out first, eh? You are here. And I went into there and had to turn around. But this is how big the hospital area is. <coughs> Just the hospital. Crazy ass, man. Inpatient buildings, central clinics. Tetsumon Gate is on one side. Uh, all these. Oh, it's amazing. Molecular and life innovation building. Clinical research. Radiology. That's for my... Were they cute? Otherwise, they can't be there. <laughs> they probably were. I'm not gonna look at everybody. I should have got their faces, eh? Oh. oh, and by the way, ladies and gentlemen, 71 days to Vegas. I gotta keep as safe as possible. I'm. Even though the anxiety has set in and yada, 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 I'm going to do my best because I am getting there. Everything will be fine. I hope so. This is where I actually should have come in through, but I didn't. This is the path that I know. And again, these corridors are pretty damn cool, man. Now, just on the other side of this is Weno. That's how big uh, Tokyo University, uh, Tokyo University uh, is. It reaches from uh, one side of Bunkyoku all the way into Taitoku. It's pretty freaking awesome, man. Loving all the different colors of bricks. And Hey, DeConnor, how are you? I haven't found one vending machine except for the one earlier. That's about it. Oh. The Wrath of Princess is not pretty, I believe. I gotta agree with you on that one. I forgot. Did you get any nice fabric? No. Uh, half the stores were closed and uh, we couldn't find, of the stores we went to, we were just kind of like, oh shit, overpriced. And, uh, of course, you know, Hiromi's awesome. She went online to Rakuten or, you know, whatever, and found exactly what we wanted for like 25 bucks a pop, 30 bucks a pop or whatever it was. She got like 10% off for shopping at a certain time. So we wasted all that time, but, you know, we got to spend the afternoon together, walking from uh, Fabric Town Nipori all the way into Weno, did a bit of shopping. Uh, she picked up like a bunch of cherries, big uh, tray of cherries for like 20 bucks. Uh, I picked up a chocolate bar, <laughs> dairy milk, and uh, yeah, we just made our way home and had a nice relaxing evening. 
Let's see if her bike is here. I don't think so. Hey, Trevor and Gabriel, how are you? You can see Sky Tree right ahead there. Later, Lido. All the doctors are around in their white coats or their technicians or whatever the hell they are. Oh, it's very, it's kind of windy. I hope you can see uh, the wind factor here. It's actually cooling me down. It's really a, a, a blessing right now. Really appreciate it actually. Timestamp? No. Don't, don't don't men automatically get a timestamp if they're wearing white lab coats or doctors? <laughs> Look at that. This campus is so freaking huge. What are the rules for masks? Um, are you, what are you talking about, Gabriel? In Japan, or for hospitals, like inside? Be a bit more specific. Or I guess I'll just say. Um, in Japan, yeah, we, they ask you to wear masks. Um, they are starting to say like, you know, as long as you're social distancing and not really talking, uh, you can take your mask off uh, while walking around outside. Indoors, masks are required. Uh, it's, not a, it's not a law, but uh, you know, if one person says wear your mask, <laughs> everybody's just gonna wear their mask because everybody follows, right? Well, there's no really hard and fast rule, I don't think. But yesterday as I was walking around, I saw a lot of people. Um, even this guy right here, yep, in Japan with no rules, right? How does it work with like baseball games? Everybody will wear masks, uh, Travel and Gabriel. Um, it's Japan. So even outside, people still wear masks. Even though they said it's okay, that uh, if, you, if you don't want to wear your mask. But say I see a hundred people I'll see maybe one person without a mask. You know, I, I don't wear a mask sometimes just because, uh, because uh, <coughs> I'm, you know, live streaming or just walking around, you know, aimlessly without a clue. Oh wait, that's every day. Um, finally, I can have a smoke as I'm walking. But uh, yeah, typically, you know, we are in Japan, we are an Asian country. Um, so they're going to wear masks, even if, even if we were to completely 100% kill the pandemic and kill every disease in the world, Japan will still wear masks. Uh, okay, wait, I saw which means, hi Roxy, if you're watching, we'll see you soon. 70, 71 days for me, 72 days. I'm not even going to answer that thing. You have a weird obsession. You really, really do. <laughs> and I have no idea how to answer you. Because I'm not creepy. I'm cringy, but I'm not creepy. I just realized I am up late. <laughs> John. <clears throat> Uber Eats. This is one of the gates to just get out. Now we're off of uh, Tokyo University property as soon as we walk through here. And uh, we are now in Taitoku, uh, which is part of Weno. Oh, vending machine, thank God. Oh, hopefully I can get a drink. Oh, this looks like an a old style well. That is pretty cool. I'm just gonna put the camera down here. Um, and uh, I'm gonna go to the vending machine and get a drink here, guys. Sorry, oh, sorry. I hope that uh, the gimbal will stay. Stay, stay right there. Uh, Frank Joseph, uh, are you gonna start in on me again, dude? Like, really? Get the hell out of here if you're gonna start doing shit like that. Okay, I'm gonna grab a water. Oh. 
Oh, I thought it ripped me off. I'm just gonna get water. Have a little bit of water for a minute. Oh, this is pretty cool, this old well and pump action that I'm seeing here. I actually like it. And it looks like I'm right beside a shrine that I didn't even know about either. So I'll show you this in a minute too. Is that traveling Gabriel? Oh, thanks Gabe. Thank you brother. Cheers. My bag is heavy as hell. That's why I'm sweating my ass off because I'm probably carrying around 10 kilograms of shit right now. Okay. So uh, yeah, check this out guys. I gotta scroll back and see what Traveling Gabriel said. Anything but tomato juice? <laughs> hey Indigo Rose, how are you? Look at that, I like this. That looks pretty damn cool, man. I gotta say. Yeah, I hate hot weather in Japan too. Um, can't, really, can't really handle it at all. I'm just scrolling back looking at the comments for a minute. Okay, but then I came across this here. I didn't even know that there was a, I don't know if this is a shrine or what it is. Oh, like a little shrine here. Got a little bit of shriny action. <laughs> Duh, there's a Tory right there, Drew. Drew, do you need a coffee soon? I do. Not bad. A little neighborhood uh, shrine, of course. And yeah, tomato, like I think Cobra just said, I read, uh, it's not like tomato juice there. No, it's not. It's almost like it's carbonated here, <laughs> which is probably even worse. And uh, yeah, right, right up ahead here, we're going to cut through is Shinobazu Pond. And then we'll head into Amiokocho. See how the uh, markets are doing. Even worse. Oh uh, yeah, you guys are having your memorial weekend or something like that. Shit, I gotta run across the street. Give me a sec. Well, walk fast across the street, not run. Oh, the, the little man is blinking. No, don't give me the red hand. No! All right, whew, made it. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is Shinobazu Pond gonna kind of walk through over to the temple. Um, this is uh, one of my Sunday walks that I usually take. And you guys have seen this before, of course. Uh, the row boats. I don't think I could do the row boats, the swan boats. I swear to God though, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna try and do a live stream on a swan boat one day. I think so. I think it'd be pretty cool. Well, at least for you payment value. It would be funny. But yeah, how amazing is this place? I'm gonna just take a walk around to the left here. I like to uh, walk along. Do you look, your favorite boats are out? I know, right, Jason? You can come over here, feed the koi. You know, do all those kind of fun things, I guess. Uh, there's usually a lot of ducks around here. No turtles, if anybody asks. He even says, like, wildlife protection area. I'd pay to be on a swan boat with you, just the laughter. <laughs> Dude, I'm a natural sailor, man. Look at that, look at that. Sky tree. There you go. There's a great picture right there. Shinobazu Pond. The temple in the background, uh, the sky tree, amazing. And then of course Amiyoko Cho where we're going to end up is on the other side there. But it's uh, a lot of beautiness, beautiness. Lots of koi and somebody's mask. And they're all looking to be fed right now. That is pretty gross. I don't even want to look at that because they're so used to being fed by everybody here. And this platform that I'm walking on 
It's a bit stationary, but it's actually floating. So I can feel it moving underneath my feet because I'm a fat ass, so there you go. But yeah, how beautiful. People are just sitting here, it looks like uh, this guy's eating his sushi or whatever and feeding the koi, human food. Looks like people are uh, See some foreigners in that pink boat right there. They're kind of screaming pigeons. And there's no crows, by the way. That indeed is beautiness, right, Mike? Walk through the uh, the willows or whatever these are. It is a great spot, Fellini. Absolutely. Surrounded by buildings, right in the middle of Tokyo still. Pretty freaking awesome, guys. This is uh, Weno Zoo over in here. Whoa. Why did they just freak out? I have no idea, but they did. And when I walk along here with my puppies, they, Chibi is always trying to chase the birds and all kinds of different things. I've never seen that fountain. There's a fountain right over there. Part of uh, the zoo. Yeah. Where to go? Where to go? Right. All oh, right there. That's pretty interesting. Huh. But yeah, that is all part of Weno Zoo. All up in that area over there. And I do say, like you know, I do recommend that if you do come to Tokyo, visit Weno Zoo. Visit uh, the aquarium over in Kasai Rinkan or whatever it's called, and uh, Shinagawa. Like there are some pretty awesome places, right? Thy are willows, good call. I learned that from somebody, I don't know who it was. Somebody in a previous live stream was like, are these willow trees? And somebody said, yep, they are. And I was like, okay, I'll try to remember that now. It's pretty awesome. When do the lotus bloom in Winnow Park? Uh, I think it's uh, March, April? Honestly, I don't know. I'm just guessing. And they, they are actually way out on the other side over there. And again, this park is huge. We've been to Winnow Park a few times, but I haven't walked around here much. All the rowboats, this is where you can actually come get your boats, of course. Remember the last time I did a live stream here, we checked out the prices. I think it was like 700 yen for like 30 minutes. A little expensive. It should be 700 yen an hour. Jeez. Let's go check out the prices. Let's see what, if my memory serves me right. But they have, uh, oh, the rowboats are 500 yen. The, uh, the cycle boat and the swan boat. So there's different prices. So the rowboat is 500 yen for 30 minutes. The cycle boat is 700 yen for 30 minutes. And the swan boat is another dollar. What's the frickin' difference? I'd rather have this boat here. Probably looks easier. Of course, you have to spray, you have to wear masks, take your temperature. See, I, I, don't, wanna, I don't wanna be sitting in a frickin' swan boat, man. Hi, Ravisha, how are you? Thank you for joining. All right, we're gonna cut through the temple area here. Is this what you're talking about? I know this isn't the exact spot, Cobra, I mean, uh, uh, Indigo Rose, but these are all the lotuses here, I think you're talking about, or whatever you call them. Now, blooming, yeah, I would probably say, I haven't seen the bloom this year, so I really don't know that, I'm pretty sure they're already finished blooming, but uh, that whole, this whole area, all here is all the lotus, which is crazy ass. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we hit the temple area. On the weekends, they could even have right now food stalls. Uh, usually this is uh, one of the places. I think Ramsey Silent during a live stream told me to go and support local and get some karage chicken. I remember that from months ago. 
Oh, they do have some more food up here, it looks like. You gotta watch your head because it's very, very short. I got a duck. Clack, clack, baby. Look at all the bad luck right here. Those are all the bad fortunes being tied up. And how awesome does that look, eh, ladies and gentlemen? Love the lanterns, love how this whole place looks. It really is pretty cool. Got the incense burning over here. Got, you got statues. Got the water for, pur for purification over there. You got more shrines over here. Maybe this, this here is to come pray for good fishing. It's got a fish on it. I don't know where my mind is. I like that red tree though. That looks pretty cool too. That's funny, Cobra. This is a map kind of basically of the whole area. You can see we basically kind of walked in around this area here. So there's a lot of amazing things looking around here. Oh, they start blooming soon. Okay, thank you, Indigo. This is obviously, you can see some of the food huts along here. Uh, on the weekends, they're busy. <laughs> it's been so busy here that I, I rarely see this bridge because there's so many people here. I like that. I've never paid any attention to this bridge before. And only one food stall going right now, and he's probably got Kakagori shaved ice. Of course. There was only 300 yen for shaved ice, it looks like. This here is also an exit and an entrance into Weno Zoo. I think it's more of an exit now than it is an entrance. And of course, Weno Park, all up in here, there's the temples that we visited before. But I'm gonna come along uh, this area here real quickly. And we're heading into uh, Amiokocho. No, I'm pretty good with uh, my height and think how short things are because I'm used to ducking all the time. Quack, quack, baby. <laughs> ah, I gotta get the sun is pelting down on me, ladies and gentlemen, but. Of course, I'll be crowned like a king, Cobra. Look at that. I don't know what the hell duck duck goose is. Okay, has my phone been lopsided this whole damn time? It has been. That pisses me off. There we go. Okay. So yeah, I guess we're gonna finish up uh, in Amiokocho, check out what the markets are like today. Yesterday they were packed, you know, whoa, pigeon, get out of here. Um, duck, duck, goose is a child's game. Never played it. I do know of it. Holy shit, what's with all the pigeons almost bombing me here? Oh. Nice little scenic tour today. Uh, this might be my last live stream of the month. I'm kind of burnt out and tired. Uh, I think I'm going to lose the live stream for 90 days straight because it's a bit of a challenge. Uh, just so you know that. But for all of you that are here, I, I really do appreciate you being here. Supporting the channel. We're growing, you know, we're growing pretty good. We're almost 200 subscribers this month. Uh, May has been a pretty good month for me uh, in the community. We've uh, gained a few Patreon members, so thank you very much for that. If you're here listening, watching, chatting, whatever, uh, get ready for the sticker shock when you visit the U.S. I don't understand what the sticker shock means.
depends on what you're buying. So can somebody, as I'm walking, please extend, explain to me what's sticker shock? Shade and benches brakes are good. Yeah, I agree, Ram. Especially with my knee. Sticker shock is the price of things. Inflation is, inflation is crazy here too. You know, I went from paying 59 yen for, you know, one spring onion to $1.50. So it's happening around the world, obviously, right? I want to sit down like these old guys are doing, but I can't find anywhere to sit down. That is shade. More expensive item, the shock of price increase. Ah, oh, I see. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's happening here too, guys. It really is. It's, uh, just find a seat here for a sec. Um, just real quickly, have a bit of a water break here. Um, no, it's, uh, the inflation here is crazy too, right? It's the Russian-Ukrainian uh, war, of course, uh, you know, so on and so forth. Raw materials have gone up and, you know, we get that, but, uh, like, we're used to paying, you know, say, even for a liter of, of cooking oil, um, you know, we're used to paying you know, two bucks and now it's three bucks. So a lot of, uh, a lot of things have uh, gone on. So it's not just there, it's here also. I'm just glad that uh, bottles of water are only a dollar still, um, where I think somebody was telling me like, you can go and get like a case of water for like five bucks back there. So I would definitely be getting a case of water for when I get to Vegas. Uh. And a ball of hibiki I'm bringing too. <laughs> if I can get it at duty free airport. Where do you buy colored disposable face masks? Actually, I bought this yesterday here in Wen and I'll show you exactly where uh, if we pass by it. Oh, sorry, I'm just gonna put some uh, of this shit on my knee here while I'm sitting down, try and take advantage of it. Oh, where is it? Oh, it's in here. So, this is the the stuff I bought, yeah, if you can read Japanese. Um, just a little, little dabble do you. So I'll put on 10 times what I need for my knees. Um, it's, it helps. They say to put it on three or four times a day, but uh, I'm putting it on every couple hours, especially after walking and stuff. Drew, you should start a tour group or on Airbnb when Japan opens up. I, I would stay away from Airbnbs myself. Um, I know a lot of you probably like staying at Airbnbs and stuff, but I'm a hotel person. And uh, COVID, you can't print money for checks without inflation, right? <coughs> I don't like Airbnbs. Um, I think that uh, for me personally, I like the uh, convenience of a hotel. Um, I understand like, you know, starting an Airbnb would be a good idea, but I would have to buy the property, you know, so on and so forth. And yeah, I'm, not, I'm just a lowly poor YouTuber. Wouldn't work for me, that's for damn sure. But I see the opportunity, of course, right? Um, I know like Erica or Ultraviolet and they were gonna come over staying at an Airbnb. Uh, I've had friends stay at Airbnbs and stuff like that. Um, I have trouble breathing through cloth masks. Yeah, well, I, I don't wear cloth masks. I did at one time, and I, I like these, right? These are a bit, you know, they're okay. But in my opinion, wearing masks will protect you. I don't mean renting out Airbnb. I mean starting a tour group. Yeah, I try. I was gonna actually I was supposed to be doing that right now. Uh, and uh, I had big plans for that actually uh, this year. I started it last year, but uh, because of Corona, uh, everything fell through. So yeah, just so you know, you probably didn't know that, but I, I already had, was gonna have something like that uh, going on anyways. So um, yeah. All right, we're gonna uh, continue here now. It is closed right now, ladies and gentlemen, but that is the Shitomachi uh, Museum. I've told you guys this before. <coughs> Definitely worth checking it out. It's only 300 yen to enter. Um, 
I do have a video on it actually. Uh, if you want to check out, see what's inside and stuff. But uh, definitely, definitely worth uh, the 300 yen that you're going to spend. The red light district of Weno is behind all these buildings over here, which we've walked through one time before. I just, I get worried and paranoid about it. Don't really like it. Even though I walk through a uh, red light district every day for work, it still scares the hell out of me. And yeah, as soon as we come out of here, this is uh, turning into Amiokocho. You guys have been here, you've seen it a hundred times, but it's always fun to go check out like, the fish markets and see how many people are actually here. There used to be a KFC here somewhere. Oh, the KFC's closed. Huh. The hub is right over there, of course, because we always got to know where the hub is. Okay, that guy is carrying around an obnoxious speaker playing music. Like, seriously, dude? I don't think I'm going to make the light. Damn it. No, I'm not going to make it. Oh, sucks. The crossing light here is a bit more longer than the other crossing light. I wish they kind of had the same thing going on and on and on. I'm gonna try and go, I'm gonna run, 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 Forrest, run! <laughs> oh, we made it. I got around. I was going to do a real quick through of Amiyoko Cho. So, thanks, Ram, for being here. <laughs> How can you go wrong? Socks for 100 yen. Okay, that's fake ass. Most of the time, you're only going to see 25 to 27 centimeters, too. I can smell Beard Papa's, which is right here. Cream, shoe cream. Just love walking inside of here. Even though I'm just walking to the station. It's pretty cool. Japanese barbecue. And here you could probably spend a good day checking out everything uh, throughout Weno. Uh, this is on Miyokocho or Can Candy Alley, Candy Street. It's just basically a whole street market area. If this is your first time seeing this, it is pretty freaking awesome here. No, no beer time. I have to go to work. So somebody asked me about the masks and stuff like that. Uh, just around the corner up at the next block, I'll show you uh, some of the masks that they're selling. Um, you know, when coronavirus first started, I remember walking through here and seeing masks, $50 a box. Like it was just ridiculous, the prices they were trying to get out, gouge out of people. And now they're selling for 50 cents. A buck, two bucks, it's crazy. This is uh, the hobby, the hobby uh, off, hard off store. You can film in there and I have filmed in here before. Great stores to visit for junk. And I always say it's worth it, really is worth it. This is where I actually bought my masks yesterday. Uh, I just wanted to try the red color. But they have all kinds of, uh, they got like little, uh, print colors here, you can see here. These are all the colored masks, These are the, the, the red ones that I got. 50 yen, 50 yen, ladies and gentlemen. And then they're selling boxes now of colored masks for 250 yen. Crazy ass. Now, they're, are they gonna protect you 100%? No, but uh, they're better than the cloth. These are the KF94 masks. And everything you have around here will be uh, amazing. I'm just gonna walk over to the market real quickly. Amazon has deep, deep discounts on masks too, yeah, I bet. 
You know, the world is going to stop wearing masks for the most part, I think, uh, except for the people that want to be a little bit paranoid and or keep safe and or whatever. But Japan has always had a good supply of masks. Just because influenza season comes uh, the, in December, January, February. So a lot of people here in Japan have always worn masks here. Great little snack shops here. Um, oh yeah, I got the little Buddha there, whatever it is. I don't like this store. I was in here yesterday. That's the store I was filming. It was my bad, of course, but. Gashapon area. Capsule toy shop. This is where I come shopping for the Emperor Club uh, peeps, of course. And I actually met John Dobb for the first time standing right here when this was a Korean hot dog place. I was coming down here live streaming and John was live streaming and I saw him and I just stopped right about here. And he looked over at me and I was like, you know, kind of sign language, is it okay for me to come over? And he's like, yep, yeah. you know, and uh, that's my history with John Dobb. This is one of our favorite uh, areas here. This is uh, the Korean uh, place. It turns into a Korean chicken place, but they're not open today. Pretty good. And you can see as I try to walk as slow as I can, we bought our cherries from this stand right here. And uh, you can see there, Hiromi got the $20 ones on the bottom. You don't get many cherries for 20 bucks. That's for damn sure. Three mangoes for $13, it's crazy. And then, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of slowly walk through. <coughs> we do have our favorite stores, like we come and buy our, uh, our uh, garbanzo beans in cans. You get like, I think it's five cans for five bucks, 95 yen each. Lots of dried fruits and stuff. It's a great little area, people. But right now, it looks like the streets of uh, Amiyokocho are dead. It is a Monday. This place yesterday, while I was walking down here, Yaffe Jack. Camera is so steady. How do you do that? Uh, I'm using a gimbal. I'm using the DJI Ohm 4 gimbal. This is that military store. Overpriced. My God, it's, it's just crazy. Of course, you have underground shopping underneath the train tracks and stuff, but I'm just going to come down to the market area, the fish market. Yesterday, you couldn't even walk uh, like this. It was uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, of people uh, walking through here, but it is the weekend, right? Now it's nice to be able to walk through and have not so many people. You have all kinds of crazy little uh, places along here from uh, clothing stores, drug stores. This is my favorite whiskey bar, by the way. It is already open. They have served a little bit of snack, but mostly whiskeys, as you can see as I'm walking by. They got an actual whiskey menu, 540 yen, all the way up to 20 bucks a shot. This is my favorite, uh, this is my favorite right here, um, seafood place. Hiromi and I usually buy their prawns, pretty cheap. You'll get uh, about a 15 to 18 count, usually for 10 bucks. Not bad. This is a Chinese store. Uh, sometimes I come here for products when I need it. Oyster bar, yuck. One oyster, two bucks. Three oysters, five bucks. Seven oysters, ten bucks. How about zero oysters? You have a bunch of Chinese restaurants along here. Um, seafood markets. You got the kebab shops. Like everything in this area is pretty freaking awesome, man. Uh, in Weno, no, uh, no, not really anything good for big people. I don't shop here for clothing, but I do shop for sh uh, shoes here. Uh, actually, I showed Shinichi the shoes. You can see all these, uh, and like, <laughs> I, I could not, this is freak market. It really is freaky. I would never wear these jackets, but I know some of you would probably wear that right there. 
Not the Buddha, this one. The old Yokosuka jackets, Yakuza jackets. Here they have free PCR testing, but they're not open. <laughs> they actually have the PCR test and the Antisinja test. But I think this is for Tokyo residents only. Of course, you got the chicken man, you got the kebab places, all kinds of things. This place here opened up last year and it failed. It's been closed ever since. The more popular fish markets, of course, hey Joseph, how are you? Um, are all along here and I'll kind of try and get over that way just to show you a bit of a. Uh, some stuff has been frozen but there. If you like fish, oh, it's so stinky. I hate the smell of fish. You got mackerel here, all kinds of mackerel. Chicken grunt, they call it. I don't know what the hell a chicken grunt is. Sea bream, lots of prawns, black tiger to white leg, clams. More packaged seafood along here, if you like fish. And then there's this crazy ass Chinese restaurant here where they keep everything out in the open, which I think I, per I personally believe that all should be covered. But it is what it is. Oh, they're making monjiaki. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna head towards the train station now. Well, there's all kinds, of course, uh, in Weno here. Um, little alleyways. You've probably been on a, 10 of the tours that I've been through here, but this is just basically me walking to the train station and uh, giving you a little bit of a guided tour, of course. Down here, there are a few, stage, uh, few uh, stores worthy of note, especially electronic stores. You have the Bashi Camera. Uh, you do have your game center. You've got your uh, Irish pub that's kind of down there and uh, some of the snack stores and drug stores along here. As we come in through here, you have the Thai restaurant, which I'm still, every time I pass by, I say, I, I'm gonna go. This place is new. This used to be the Korean hot dog place, and now it's a, a ramen place. And everybody's outside enjoying their lunch and or whatever. I'm surprised this is a kai around the corner here isn't going on. Um, of course, Amanda and I's favorite drinking place is down there. Sorry, I can't really see the chat too much. I actually had uh, Kushiyagi, uh, Kushiyagi, I don't know if you guys know what that is, but uh, up here is Moto Gnome. Again, more alleyways. There's about six or seven main streets uh, crisscrossing throughout. Adult convenience store. <laughs> Love me Tenga. Again, amazing stores along here. I've actually never been inside this store ever. Great little izakaya style places. I'd say summer is the busiest and I don't know why because a lot of people come here and they don't realize how hot it freaking gets here. They really don't. But it amazes me at nighttime if you walk by here, all these little businesses are packed. The daytime, they don't do, seem to be doing so good. But it is daytime, everybody's either working or... And we have no tourists yet, right? So, what's an adult convenience store? Porn store, Lynn, porn store. They sell toys and dolls and everything else. Of course, uh, just over here you have uh, Marui department store with the loft inside, yada, yada, yada. My favorite curry shop ever, right over here, which is open. I have, I'm gonna have to go there for lunch one day.
And we're just coming out to uh, Weno Station, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna take it inside Weno Station and hop on a train. Okay, gross. Yeah, right? Vending machines, gashapon. If you're into anime and stuff, this is a good uh, little area. Of course, it's not like Akihabara or Nakano, uh, places like that. But uh, these aren't bad stores here to uh, check out, of course. What's that, like a little Kirby there? Yeah, Kirby. Oh, it's Kirby's 30th anniversary, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, I think the best time in Japan is either uh, in March or September, October. Just my opinion. This is the World's End Irish pub. A good little place. You can see right there, World End right up there. Since 2012. And they actually have good ha real haggis, <coughs> which is Scottish, so I don't understand why they have it there, but anyways. And yeah, this is uh, the front view of Oweno Station, ladies and gentlemen. We're just gonna go inside here real quickly to say goodbye and uh, say thank you. Of course, Weno Station is actually quite big. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that up in the middle area, you have an amazing shopping area. Uh, you do have free access to it. You don't have to go inside, but it is a bit difficult to get to if you don't know how to do it. Of course, they do have Starbucks. Uh, they have one of the only, one of the very few vegan-only ramen shops um, inside the station, which is very interesting to me. Later, Trevor and Gabriel, and thank you. And I'm just going to show you guys the amazing mural, the inside of the station here, to uh, finish up. Then I got to catch a train to work. And I am now traveling to the hottest city in Japan, which kind of sucks. On a day where it's, let's say, 32 degrees in Tokyo, it's going to be 36. It's always like two or three or four degrees higher for whatever reason. But yeah, this is inside uh, Weno Station. You got the Hard Rock Cafe inside here. You got Andersons. You got uh, a bunch of little. Uh, stores here but I see a samurai ladies and gentlemen I see a samurai gotta check out the samurai this is the hard rock cafe right over here not bad is this all like freaking check it out guys that's too cool Yukimura Sanada Yukimura Sonata. Gotta say, it's pretty damn cool. As I walk around, see. And they always have something on display here, um, whether they're selling goods and stuff. Could be anything here, but today it looks like uh, we got some pretty good stuff happening here. You got Godiva chocolate over there. Down, down this way, you actually hit the Hibia line and uh, <laughs> the Ginza line. Well, thank you, who's Blue Ginger? Thank you so much. I don't recognize you. Yes, it is the NHK drama, yes. I just didn't want to get into it. Thank you so much, I appreciate that, Blue Ginger. And look at these murals. This is what I love about Weno Station. You will find stuff like this in other stations and stuff, but how cool is that, eh? This is the central exit. It's freaking awesome, man. You do have a bunch of shopping uh, down there. You got all kinds of different places to uh, to do some shopping. So I'm going to uh, turn the camera here uh, and say thank you, everybody. Uh, thank you, Blue Ginger, for the super chat. Thank you, Trevor and Gabriel. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Cosman, if you're still here. Um, I gotta get off to work and uh, hopefully uh, you enjoyed this tour ladies and gentlemen uh, from the Tokyo Dome area over to Weno um, especially um, Tokyo University uh, that pond area is pretty beautiful and stuff 
but uh, yeah, I got to hop a train. Uh, if you haven't watched all the video, please go back by all means, uh, check it out. I think there's some, I'll put some timestamps in later on tonight, um, just for points of interest. But uh, thank you everybody. Thank you moderators that are here. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you Patreon members and Emoji Club members. Uh, I appreciate it. Got two more days to sign up for the Emoji Club, ladies and gentlemen. And community, thank you. Got to go. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Please check out these two videos here. Of course, the Patreon link is right here if you want to become part of the TD Crew Asylum family. And subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. Keep your keep your roster for yourself, because I always do. Have a great day. Bye.